When you drive through downtown Dawson Creek, it's hard to miss the grain elevator, home to the local art gallery. That's exactly how the Art Society and the city like it, as each year tourists flock to the unique landmark. But unfortunately, that'll all change very soon, as some renovations to the exterior are forcing the gallery to close for several months. The NAR Park has been under renovations for the past uh, two or three years, and the gallery was kind of the last part of that. So it's, it went forward in this year's budgeting, and it was approved, and the contract was awarded uh, just this July, and they'll be starting in August. During the shutdown, the Society plans to move its classes and exhibits to temporary locations like O'Brien School and the Calvin Crook Centre, ensuring the renovations don't interrupt their services completely. However, the ability to continue in a similar capacity brought on concern from some city councillors when they were asked to make up for their expected revenue. We're going on based on average numbers. So if you turn around and say, okay, this is the average of what they've made last year and the year before and the year before, so let, let's just stroke them a check for that amount of money, they're going to end up getting a bonus from the items that they're going to be selling at the tourist information from down at the Calvin Crook Centre. Those sentiments weren't echoed by the rest of council, though, as the majority of the elected officials were quick to offer support to the local arts community. The art group did look at many alternatives that could get them through this construction that just weren't feasible. So um, they've done their due diligence and their effort to be able to sustain themselves is not possible. This revenue keeps the art gallery growing, and I don't want to see, I don't think anyone wants to see the art gallery struggling for many years to offset this this loss. We want a vibrant art gallery. After a back and forth discussion, council did vote to grant the Art Society the funds they'd asked for, less any amounts earned through their ongoing operation. But even with the city's assistance through the renovation period, staff at the gallery say they've got no plans of slowing down. There's lots to do and the important thing is just keep our programming going, keep our presence in the city going and then hopefully uh, 2016 will kick off for a great year. Just after they close, the art gallery staff will take part in a pancake breakfast at the Dawson Co-op on August 8th to keep their fundraising efforts going through their temporary closure. Jeremy Keith, CJDC-TV News, Dawson Creek.